crafty friends welcome back to part three of our mini granny square book cover today we're going to be learning how to make an extra accessory for this we're going to learn how to make an extra panel right here so that we can add our a pen or a highlighter or anything like that that we would want to have with our book and so let's get started on that you're going to want to make sure right now which side you want as your book, the front of your cover. Okay, so the side that you want in the front is right here. And then the back is the one that we're going to want to be working into. We're going to go into that front loop that we left when we made our flap. Okay, and then we're going to pull our yarn through and chain one. We're going to single crochet into each loop that we have. Into those back of the front loops that we left. We're going to single crochet into each one of them. Just keep single crocheting into each of those front loops that we left. Okay, that's it for mine. I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to continue to work through both strands of the stitch. Okay, we're one again to count. We're gonna want to count up 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I still have two more single crochets to do before I get to 15. Once you get to your 15 mark, you're going to do front loop only. So we're going to go only through the front loop and leave behind the loop in the back. And we're going to keep single crocheting into that. So only the front loop. I'll show you what the back looks like in just a moment. So as you can see, we're going leaving these little parts of our stitch, the back loops we're leaving behind because we're only grabbing the front loops. And you'll see why in just a minute when we get to that point. So just keep working front loop only, single crochets. Okay, so now we've got 
all our front loop single crochets we're going to turn our work and instead of working up here we're going to go down into our back post and do a single crochet into that it's a little bit tricky to get into sometimes it helps to go with the tip the edge or use your nail to get it on there. It's usually just that first one. We pull it through. So now we're going to work single crochets into all of those back loops that we left. So there should be 15 single crochets on this side. I like to use my finger to kind of push the other part of the stitch down, like those single crochets that we just made. It gives it a little, makes it just a little bit easier to access the the back loop that we've left. Okay, we're almost there. I have to, I have two more. If you would like yours a little longer you can do it to 20. Don't recommend much more than that because then it's hard because sometimes you have stuff that's a little shorter as well. So probably 15 for me generally what I've seen is a good amount. So in chain one turn our work and now we're going to start going into both sides. So we're going to go into that first one we're going to go through both loops and we're just going to keep working into both loops. A single crochet in each stitch. And keep and we're going to turn our work and we're going to keep working single crochets up and back up so this is a, we're forming a little pocket to place our highlighters and pens or anything like that so that we can take it with us um, since mine is a bible it's fairly often that you'll want you want a highlighter with it so you can highlight things and so just depends on what kind of book you're making this for whether you'll want to add this to it or not Okay, when you get up to the top here. We're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna turn our work and then we're gonna when I, we're gonna go back down and work single crochets all the way up, chain one, and then go all the way back down. And you're going to want to do that until as until you have the width of your book. So mine's going to be this wide, so that when I put the book cover on, it covers the front. So. I'm going to do a couple more rows and I'll meet you back and I'm going to show you how I make how I close this pocket off and we make can make another one.
Okay, I've added a few more rows. I'm here at the top, so I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to continue to single crochet down until we get to that 15 single crochets where we do the back, where we did the front loop only. Okay, what I like to do is I like to count 15 and 30. We're going to have end up 30 over here, and that's where you're going to start to close off your pocket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, <laughs> and 30. I did one extra. Okay, so now we've, now that we know it's this one that we need to go into, we're going to place our hook through both of the strands on that loop, and on this one, we're going to do only the front loop. Okay, front loop only, and we're going to single crochet. And do it again in each the, so this one you go through both and then in the front part you're going to only go through the front loop. And we're going to leave that back loop so we can work through it again and make another pocket. Okay, right here starts to get a little tricky. Okay, I'm going to go in. We've got one more here at the bottom. Okay. Again, we're going to turn and we're going to work back up. the stitches that we've been leaving behind again. Like I said, that first stitch is just a little bit harder to work into. Before you close off a pocket, make sure that what you want to put into that pocket is going to fit. So let's say I have this little, this pen. I know that that's going to fit because I measured it earlier. Okay, so that little pen's going to fit in there. And then I'm going to get a highlight. I'm going to put a highlighter in the next one. So that's another thing to consider. Okay, and then we're just going to keep, we're going to do what we did before, and now we can just start going through both loops until we're ready to close it off. 
If you want to make this just one big pocket, you can just keep going. You don't have to do this step that we just did. And then you can do this step when you're ready to close off your pocket. I wanted to make mine because I feel like it holds them a little more snug. It's going to be harder for it to fall out on its own. So just keep that in mind. I will meet you back when you're ready to close off your pocket. Okay, I'm back with my second pocket made. And what we're gonna do with that one to close it up, since I'm not gonna be making any more pockets, I'm gonna go through both loops and make a single crochet all the way along just to join those together. And just keep going through both loops. Write in, write in the comments below what you'll make your book cover for. Do you have a favorite book? A Bible as well? Something for school? You could even make this for a notebook. The list could go on and on. You tell me what what you're going to be making this for. If you're going to make it as a gift for somebody, I'd also like to know that's fun. I've already made one as a gift as well and liked it so much that I had to have one myself. So this is mine. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to do, so we've got it closed, our little pocket closed off. On this side, I'm going to be attaching little buttons. So I'm going to sew one here and one here. So what I need to do, I'm going to just attach them right here to this little edge. So what I want to do is single crochet up to the point that I'm going to put a button. Let's see where we're at there. Almost. Okay, I think that's where my button's gonna go. Chain is also gonna depend on how big your buttons are. So. So I'm gonna put my put my book in there and see if if it will go around. I think that I think that should be enough. Let's see how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And give one more. Nine. And then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go down into the next stitch and do a single crochet. Now 
now I'm going to just crochet back up to where I wanted my second button to be. Let's see, I have a little bit farther to go. A few more, like maybe three, I would say. Okay, so I'm going to chain nine again. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And just finish off this row with single crochets. Okay, we're going to chain one and pull tight and cut your yarn if if you've got if you haven't gotten to the last of your yarn like I did. Okay, now we're going to get some thread that matches your project. Okay, I've got this gray thread. I'm just going to tie I doubled it up. So it's, I've got two strands and I'm going to tie it at the bottom so and tie it at the bottom and I'm just, just put it here and add my first button Okay, I'm going to stick my needle back into the other side of the buttonhole. And then I'm going to take that little loop that I have where I've tied my knot, pull the thread through there, and tighten it. If it helps, you can open this up a little bit so that you don't grab the other side you're you're not gonna want to grab that flap that you made All right, now what we're gonna do is weave in our ends and I will see you right back when I've got mine woven in okay and here we have our the finished product this is what mine looks like okay that's Open it up. We've got our Bible. And we've got our little place to save a pen, a pencil, whatever it is that you need to save. Okay, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.